Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to follow up on a thread of questioning from Congresswoman Jackson Lee regarding foreign entities and foreign interests. Director Pearl Mutter, could you comment on the role of any foreign entities uh, and really the extent to which the Copyright Office uh, has to focus on that versus any type of domestic infringement? Well, as you suggest, Congressman, a lot of the infringement that copyright owners face these days comes from abroad. And that is clearly a major issue. Uh, for that reason, one of the things we spend a lot of time on is working with the US trade representative, including in their notorious market report and their special 301 report to identify and call out those sources of tremendous uh, foreign infringement. Uh, and then the administration takes various types of action uh, uh, to try to address uh, those sources. And are there additional tools that you think the Copyright Office could have uh, to combat that, that foreign malign influence? That's a good question. We, of course, don't actually have enforcement powers ourselves, but we do advise on enforcement issues, on policy and on drafting. And we do work with counterparts in other countries to try to improve their laws to allow them to address some of uh, these issues on their own territory. And so it seems that your job is to inform the US trade representative and other entities within the government where this action occurs and then they really have the hammer. You know, you, you provide the data and the information, uh, but they have the hammer. And so could you provide us the information? Where in the world do we see uh, this foreign malign influence coming from principally? Well, I would refer you primarily to the uh, special 301 report that USTR just released, uh, which identifies very clearly where the main areas of concern are and actually ranks them uh, in terms of uh, the level of danger. And, and do you worry that there are any uh, increasing trends, particularly from China, uh, to violate US copyright laws? The issue of infringement and infringing product coming into the United States, uh, certainly China is a major player. Um, I think it is something that the government as a whole continues to keep a very close eye on. And that includes, of course, looking at how and to what extent China is implementing phase one of the trade agreement struck with the United States in the last administration. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.